Hey everyone, today we're diving into one of the most exciting topics surrounding GTA 6, just how realistic the female characters are, especially our female protagonist, Lucia. Rockstar has outdone themselves, and it's not just because of the next-gen graphics, it's how they've taken realism to a whole new level. Let's break down why fans are already head over heels about how lifelike Lucia feels, even before the game has launched. We will also tackle the unbelievable theory about the teasers that can lead us to know when we'll be the exact date of the trailer too and the game will be come with us as we disseminate everything but before we get started don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button for more awesome content all right let's kick things off with the tech rockstar is rumored to be using some of the most advanced animation technology out there possibly even ai powered animation what does that mean for us the players essentially it allows for more natural and fluid character movements Imagine Lucia walking through Vice City, her interactions with her surroundings feel natural, not robotic or forced. Every movement, every glance seems almost human. This isn't your typical NPC walks into a wall situation. Rockstar is taking immersion to the next level, and let's talk about graphics. GTA 6 is set to have insane graphical fidelity, and Lucia's design reflects that. The character models in this game are loaded with details, from realistic facial expressions to the way clothing moves on the characters' bodies. Rockstar is nailing that look and feel of someone who belongs in their world. The attention to detail really makes the difference here. You can practically see every emotion on her face and every slight shift in her body language. It's like watching a real person in action. Now here's one you might not expect, Jiggle Physics. Rockstar has incorporated dynamic body physics, which means there's a level of natural movement to soft body parts that we just didn't see in previous games. It might sound minor, but these tiny details make the characters feel more realistic, especially in action scenes. It's the little things that make Lucia look and feel like a real person, not just pixels on a screen. I mean, this level of realism is unprecedented for a GTA game. The community is already rallying around Lucia, and that excitement has sparked an explosion of fan art, theories, and discussions online. Even before we fully experienced her story, fans are adding layers to her character with their interpretations and concepts. It's wild to see a character resonate so deeply even before the official release. Rockstar's ability to inspire this level of engagement is a testament to how well they're crafting her character. Can you believe it? It's been almost a year since we got our very first GTA 6 trailer. I mean, time has flown by faster than a five-star cop chase through the streets of Los Santos. And it's now been the longest gap between the first Rockstar trailer and the second for any GTA game. That means we're due. Any day now, Rockstar could drop trailer 2 and the internet will explode. But there's more to it than just guessing. Rockstar's got a pattern with its teasers, and this time they're being even sneakier than usual. So let's dive into all all the crazy clues and theories out there. First things first, I know, I know, the GTA 6 YouTube community right now is pretty chaotic. There's a lot of clickbait, so let me just say right here, I'm not leading you on. Rockstar really has a habit of dropping these tiny hidden hints, and some of these go way back. Like in GTA 3, there was this billboard that said, see you in Miami, which later of course became Vice City. And then fast forward to 2020, they hid some mysterious coordinates in a GTA online trailer. And if you put those into Google Maps, it leads to a dirt road that forms the Roman numeral Zix when you look at it. Rockstar has been breadcrumbing us with this stuff for years. Guys dot but the Moon Festival teaser last year. That's the big one. Rockstar posted a pic to celebrate the Moon Festival, saying they'd add some lunar themed bonuses in GTA Online. Cool, right? But wait, in that picture, there was a big, bright, waning gibbous moon, and the Roman numeral 6 was literally right there, shining in lights. Plus, in the image, there was a man and a woman. Could it have been Jason and Lucia, the stars of GTA 6? Rockstar is all about these little visual hints, and that moon phase. It just so happened that on December 1st, the day they dropped the first GTA 6 trailer, the moon was in that exact phase. Coincidence? Maybe, but Rockstar's got a history of hiding things in plain sight seems like a pretty big hint to me. So here's where it gets interesting. 
Rockstar recently posted a community update for GTA Online, and along with it, a picture. In this image, there's a dude chilling on the hood of a car, which seems a lot like Jason from GTA 6's first trailer art. Now, if you remember, the last teaser had both a man and a woman, but this time it's just the guy. Also, the car is blue, which is traditionally, you know, boy color. So this image could be pointing towards Jason being the main focus of trailer 2, since trailer 1 was more about Lucia. Subtle? Maybe but it lines up pretty well. Now, back to the moon phase again. In this new image, the moon's in a waning gibbous phase, just like before. And if we check the moon phase calendar, the next time it'll look like this is November 20th and 21. So fans are thinking we might get something then, like maybe, just maybe, a trailer drop announcement. But hold up, let's not get too excited too fast. Rockstar doesn't just throw trailers at us out of the blue. If they're following the same pattern as last year, we might get an announcement on the 21st, and then the trailer itself could come out in early to mid-December. Just my two cents, but I'd say a December trailer is looking pretty likely. Oh, and here's where things get weird, and honestly, kinda hilarious. Reddit user Thick Storms, yes, really, pointed out some lyrics from Tom Petty's Love is a Long Road, saying they match the vibe of this entire GTA 6 waiting game. It goes something like, so many times I would wake up at noon. I mean, that is the official anthem of jobless GTA fans everywhere. And then, with my head spinning round, which sounds about right for everyone obsessing over moon phases. Then the part where he sings, I would wait for the moon. Is Rockstar really using these lyrics to confirm the moon theory? Could be, but it might also just be Rockstar messing with us. Either way, it's entertaining. And if we're looking at Rockstar's teasing style, this isn't even their first time with these elaborate hints. Back in 2013, there was artwork for GTA 5 showing a plane on the left side of the screen. Fast forward to 2023, and there's updated artwork where that same plane is now on the opposite side, almost as if it's leaving Los Santos and heading toward Vice City. Rockstar's subtle, but they're sneaky. They've always been good at this stuff, leaving clues without ever being obvious. You can see why fans are going full detective mode on every little thing they post. Now, while all of these theories are fun, the bottom line is that Rockstar is definitely up to something. They may keep a low profile, but they aren't totally silent. Just look back to last year when Sam Hauser put out that big message hyping up GTA 6, and then in November, they announced the December trailer date. It's like, we're right back where we started, just waiting for that final green light. All right, that's all we've got for today. Thanks so much for tuning in and joining me on this wild journey through GTA 6 theories, teasers, and character deep dives. Rockstar's teasing game is strong, and with all the hints floating around, it feels like trailer 2 is just around the corner. So what do you think? Is the moon phase theory legit? And how real does Lucia feel to you based on what we know so far? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear them. I believe we were able to cover the majority of the interesting interesting things that came up, but if there is anything noteworthy, please let me know in the comments section below. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, hit the like button and the subscribe button, leave a comment down below of what you guys thought of this video, and yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out!